Hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, it's me, the Turgo. And here today's video, we will... Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Don. In today's video, we will talk about the volume of a cylinder. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So basically guys, ito yung pangatlong video natin na ginawan para sa series natin under the volume and surface area of a given solid figure. Last time, may uploaded that time video about uh, the surface area and volume of a rectangular prism. And also, meron na rin tayong video about the surface area and volume of a cube. And right now, ang target natin ngayon is to, is to calculate for the volume of a cylinder. So, we have here a cylinder wherein kailangan natin pag-usapan ano ba yung different parts ng isang cylinder. So, start mo natin sa different parts na meron siya. First, we have the circular bases. Yung nasa ibabaw niya, itong nakita niya circle, yung flat surface dito sa ibabaw sa ilalim, ito yung kanyang circular uh, bases. And next naman natin as yung kanyang curved surface at yung nakapalibot sa kanya. Wala kasi yung example dito para mas madali may visualize natin yung isang cylinder. So we have here um, a cylinder. Again, this is your circular bases. Yung nasa ilalim. And ito naman yung kanyang curve bases. So what is the formula in calculating for the volume of a cylinder? Yung formula ng ating volume is simply volume is equal to pi r square h. Now, in this given figure, ang, volume, ang value ng ating h ay ito. Your h is equal to 12 centimeters while your radius r is equal to 9 centimeters. Ito yung r natin. So again, volume is equal to pi r square h wherein your r is equal to or radius is equal to 9 centimeters and the height of the centimeters of the cylinder is equal to 12 centimeters. So, let's start calculating for the volume of this given figure. We have B is equal to pi and then your R is equal to 9. We have 9 centimeters squared times your height which is 12 centimeter. Tapos, uh, kaya ang reason dito bakit hindi ko muna milk uh, snap shift yung 3.40 natin for the value of pi Kasi possible na sa nang isabihin sa inyo, uh, calculate for the volume of this given cylinder in terms of pi. So later on, papakita ko sa inyo paano. You have your V is equal to pi and then your 9 centimeters squared is simply 81 centimeters squared times 12 centimeters. And you can use your calculator. So we need to multiply 81 times 12 and that will give you 972. So the volume of this given cylinder uh, in terms of pi is simply 972 pi centimeter cube. Ito yung volume niya in terms of pi. And sir, what if hindi naman po ganyan yung situation natin? Uh, we will be asked for the full value of the volume of this given cylinder. Ang gabi nila naman is you need to use the value of pi as... 3.14. So, gawin natin volume is equal to 3.14 times 972 centimeter cube. Yung pi natin dito, ginawa natin 3.14. And multiply 972 by 3.14. That will give us 972 times 3.14. That will give us the volume of 9,700 Oops, baka sobra yata tayo Check natin eh 972 times 3.14 That will give us Not 9,000, that is 3,052.08 Cubic centimeters Or centimeter cube Ito yung volume natin For this given um, cylinder with the height of 12 centimeters and a radius of 9 centimeters. In the next part of our video, I'll be giving you another example para mas ma-master nyo yung pagkakalculate ng volume ng isang cylinder. Now, let us solve item number 2 given this problem. Find the volume of a cylinder with a radius of 8 centimeters and the height of 15 centimeters. Again, using the formula 
volume is equal to pi r square h. So here's my advice. I'll list down all the information, information that you need in this formula wherein your radius or r is equal to 8 centimeters. Your height is equal to 15 centimeters. And we will be using uh, pi as 3.14. So in this formula, you can directly substitute the value of your r, your pi first. You have your v or volume is equal to 3.14, this one, because this is pi. For r squared, you have 8 centimeter as your r, pero meron tayong exponent to 2, times your h which is, which is 15 centimeters. Now, once you substitute na yung mismong value ng bawat variable natin in this formula, when you directly multiply 3.14, 8, and 15, first, you need to simplify this one, yung 8 centimeters squared. So, V is equal to 3.14 times your 8 centimeters squared, which is 64 centimeters squared, and then multiplied by 15 centimeter, yan. You can use your calculator. So in, in our case, I'll be using my calculator here para mas mapadali ang ating solution. So multiplying 3.14, 3.14 times 64. Times 15 centimeters. That will give you the volume of... 3,014.4 cubic centimeters. Or, kung gusto ng teacher nyo na gawing whole number to, you can round it off and your volume is approximately 3,014 cubic centimeter. Yan. Pwede yan. Alin sa dalawang yan? Pwede, pwede po yan. So, I hope na natuto kayo sa ating solution on how to calculate for the volume of cylinder and if you want to request some topics that you want me to discuss within this channel please comment down below at pakishare na rin to sa mga classmates nyo or kilala nyo na nangangailangan ganito class and lecture again if you're new to my channel don't forget to like and subscribe at hit na rin yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads again i'm teacher gone maraming maraming salamat bye bye